Hello everybody, and welcome back to another Gunpla haul. This one's pretty special because it was sent to me by a friend. The Canadian government still took 25 bucks off me when I went to pick it up, but uh, he paid for everything else, so <laughs> thanks, Lucky. <clears throat> now, uh, my, my mount doesn't go high enough to actually see this, but it says open this side right here. So uh, let's get this open. Let's see what kind of pipe mommy sent me. Shouldn't joke about that. <laughs> Hopefully that's enough to open it. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna make it the thumbnail, so. My god, three or four kits my ass. What did you send me? Ugh. He used good tape. I'm not gonna look at anything else. I'm gonna pop this box down and take him out one at a time, blindly. But I just... Uh, uh, this is the only thing I knew I was getting, so... Uh, he sent me the Vifong. I'm so happy. Oh, uh, it's so good. That is a much darker blue than I was expecting. It's almost black. It's like the, the new Gundam color. Well, a couple parts didn't survive. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you notice the jump cuts, because I, I forgot to readjust the camera while I was doing this. But yeah, he he sent me the black bomb and I'm so happy. And I noticed that a couple parts had come off the runner, but that's not a big deal. There's, uh, one of these bits, one of the red pieces, and one of the leg joint pieces, I think. None of those have really bad nubs. I think the red one maybe, but I can paint that over if I need to. Paint on this is really minimal though, it's just a bit of white on the rifle and the uh, escape pod needs paint. The escape pod needs a lot of paint, but... Uh... Like, all the red, I'm pretty sure, but I don't care. Honestly, I, it works. That's all I care about, is the escape pod actually works. Yeah. There's the sticker for it, and I think that's that's the one for the uh, visor on the head. Really, really nice blue for the... Uh, Twin mover. Or sling tenure, as they want to call it here. I swear to God, it was called the twin mover. I wasn't thinking of the, uh, the other one. Uh, whatever. Feet are solid. I guess P Bandai gets that luxury. Well, see, so yeah, I, I mentioned it the first time around, but these stickers, which uh, are the thicker plastic hard stickers, which is nice. It's basically a, a part that, that it fixes with adhesive. Obviously, I'm going with seven, but they do actually give you all of them, and this is really tough, hard plastic. So, you don't have to worry about that being damaged. Where is the chest panel, anyway? It's around here somewhere. Most likely on this runner, if I'm looking. Uh, yeah. There we go. I'm gonna put this in gently. Don't want to pop anything else off the runner. It's because it's the the nice silky plastic that Bandai's been using, and they have smaller gates now, so stuff is just easier to fall off. That's completely normal. Can't blame them for that. Oh, the yellow sections behind the knees are actually part separated. Thought I'd have to paint that. Oh well, I do have to paint the little yellow triangles on the shoulder, but that's nothing. Ow. All right. Uh, take two on seeing whatever else is in this box. Now with the camera actually in the right spot so I, you can see it. Uh, all right. First up, an artifact. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, yeah, I will paint it. I will. I will. It's a mini kit. Which out of these do I want? Uh, Sokka 3, definitely. 
Don't care about Thunderbolt. Not a huge fan of full armor. V2 would be okay, actually. Yeah. Hopefully I get the Zaku 3. This... They want me to open this side, but this side's almost open anyway, so I might as well just pop this one off. Collector-friendly packaging by accident. Nice. Alright, let's see what's in here. See, now I wonder if he opened this up or if I'm just lucky. Uh... Oh. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, it's the Zaku 3. Let's see if I can find an identifiable part of this thing in here somewhere. Shoulder. Yeah, where's the head? That might make things a little bit easier. Where is the head? Half the head? Where's the other half of it? Ah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's tiny. <laughs> well, I mean, I've, I've built a couple space marines. I can do this. It's not the custom. To be fair, the design's completely different from the regular one anyway. I could paint it whatever color I feel like, but... Probably gonna do white. Maybe orange highlights. Do it a custom. I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll put it back in here and then forget about it for two years like I did with the Zeta. <laughs> no, I'll, uh, I'll probably paint this up in the summer. Oh god, there's a picture of Moon, that's concerning. Uh, open last. Okay, I will. Oh shit. The Afrit Custom, the actually good-looking Afrit. Yeah, most of this is P. Bandai, by the way. I can't get P-Bandai kits normally, so he sent me a bunch of them. P-Bandai instructions are lame. There's no box art at all, it's literally just the instructions. A nice pretty orange. I'm going to assume those are option parts, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna paint that. <laughs> no, it's not option parts. Okay, that one... So that one goes on here, maybe? Or on the back? I can't... I don't know which one goes where. Uh, easy enough to paint it either way. Nice to have it a free... And... Yeah, this is a that's a really pretty like blood orange color. Am I gonna be able to mix that to color correct these couple stickers? Probably. The uh, more unique beam effects. I swear to God, every single suit that has swords has unique beam effects. At first, I thought those were the same ones that came with the um, DJ, but no, it's. Unique again. Alright. Alright, let's see next. Oh my god, really? The end gauge? <laughs> I actually really like how this suit looks. I'm not gonna complain about that, my god. To use the ice sticker or not to use the ice sticker. With the fully detailed feet. I'm going to assume that's a backpack. Side skirts the shield. That's how they separated the shield? Alright. The inside of the shield is supposed to be gray, so that makes the painting a bit easier. Comes with a stand, which is nice. One of the crappy cheap ones, but it comes with one. Uh, another backpack? How many backpacks does this thing have? 
I'm assuming those are how the other patches on, the, the big one. Uh, there's the weight. I'm sorry, is this thing a ball jointed hips? Alright. It's a big ass thruster. <laughs> My god. It's bigger than the ones that come on the freaking bound dock. Man, this is a weird suit. And again, no no art on the actual instructions, so. Hey, paint the stripe on the knee red. Because I couldn't be bothered to separate that. Uh, black in the chest does give you stickers, but I'll probably just paint that. Yeah, probably aside from the cameras, I'll just paint everything. That's not a big deal. And no, it doesn't have ball jointed hips, which raises the question of where the hell does this ball jointed parts go? Hey? Where do those go then? <laughs> Ah! That's the centerpiece for the, uh, the big thrusters. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. Uh, this is a pretty cool suit. I'm happy to get that. I've never gotten P Bandai kits before. I don't, I don't know if I'm just, like, uh, over-enthused to the point where I don't sound super happy, but I, I am ecstatic right now. I... Alright, last up before the moon ball. I actually wanted to get one of these, but the shipping was too much, so... Thank you. Oh, man. I can't wait to build this and then put an orange stripe on it and call it a custom like all the other green suits I have. Uh... Open. Okay, this box didn't survive the shipping that well. Okay, yeah, no. Yeah, the, this this box did not survive shipping. <laughs> Look at this. It's oh. No, I'm stupid. It's taped. It's only taped on one side, though, so I'm assuming you popped it open to check it originally. <laughs> the price tag is still on this. Uh, $50. This has got to be, like, $150 worth of kits or something? My god. Okay, let's, let's actually open this this time. Yeah, man. Okay. Now, I'm not familiar with Kotobi Kia kits, so I don't know, like, what the color separation and plastic quality is going to be like on this. Well, it's not undergated, but, uh... <laughs> That's just me being greedy. This bag was sliced open at some point. That's mildly concerning. Weapons. Joints, I'm assuming, from the looks of it. Or just like little extra bits. There's the eyes and tail, maybe? Okay, so that over here, these are extra eyes. Now, does it come with stickers or do I have to paint it? I mean, I can paint it, this is easy. But, uh,. Maybe that's what that cut in the other bag was. I'm sorry, it has articulated hands? Okay then. Ah, no, okay. <laughs> There's the water slides. Are they water slides or are they dry transfers? What the hell is this? Like I said, I'm not familiar with Code of Kia, so I don't know. <laughs> Hard to tell, to be honest. I'm thinking water slides. I may use these, I may not. I might use some of them and not all of them. I might paint customize myself, because I kind of want to do angry red eyes and that's not an option. And yeah, this box did not survive. Nice to finally look at something again with the... 
booklet art though, <laughs> after two P Bandai kits. And yeah, that is that is the uh, tail. Use some new paint. Okay, so that's the placement warranty thing. That's not a big deal. Any mid book art? No. Okay. And at the end, it has a color guide or a sticker placement guide. That's a license plate. That's that's funny. Especially since this is like a militarized vehicle. <laughs> Lights and whatnot, yeah. Okay, listen. That's easy. Oh! Is that the same as the box? I think it is. Yeah. This is part of the uh, box art, but it's nice they made it a wraparound. Alright, parts, get back in there. Alright, and finally, we have a box and a box. And I'm just going to show this because it's funny. I think Moon sent me something. I'm going to have to open this from the bottom because I don't want to damage the, uh, the funny picture. Hopefully that doesn't spoil what's in it. I don't want to cut Moon's face in half. Oh god, no. No. <laughs> god damn it, Moon. I, I I am interested in what I, I'm pretty sure this is also first grade. It just comes with like a a special thing, or something, or it's a different green. Uh, I believe the pocky has been removed. <laughs> so yeah, this is just, it. It is a different green. It's like Dozel's green, which is nice. I won't be building any of these. But this is a funny thing to have on my shelf, so... I can't believe you sent me all three of them. Why did you send me four at first? Why did you send me four first grades? Ugh. Oh my god. Uh, okay, this is gonna be a lot to edit down. Let me get a shot of them all together. <laughs> and we'll wrap this up. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Uh, now I see why Moon wanted me to record this. Uh, let me know what you're ex <laughs> excited for me to review. Uh, Comment down below on what what you want to see. Oh my god, I can't believe that. <laughs> I was gonna joke, oh, so Moon's the one who sent me a pipe bomb. But yeah, she basically did. Uh, subscribe and hit the bell so you're alerted when I do review these. Go over and join the Mecha Hanger Discord. You'll see work in progress shots of this and also uh, just a decent community. <laughs> 
not super active right now, but since Twitter's dying, if you want to keep in contact with me, that's probably the best option. Normally I show my Patreon, but I got this stuff for free, so I'll refrain for this video. And, as always, until next time, happy building. <laughs>